in the political area, uh, most of the attention right now goes to uh, tackling the climate ambitions um, generated within national borders, of course. But uh, I think that we will hear uh, from the other speakers today that that actually hides a large part of the problem. The red countries, and you'll see most of the EU member states are included in that category, have net uh, are net importers of greenhouse gas emissions. So that means that the emissions associated with their imports are higher than the emissions associated with their exports. And here we can clearly see this gap that we were uh, commenting. The trade balance and the import impacts are higher than those of the exports. So we are externalizing impacts to third countries. And in achieving the European Green Deal, uh, the EU needs to act as a, as a global leader. <clears throat> because uh, global challenges uh, of the triple climate of the triple planetary crisis require a global response. We are becoming more affluent and therefore this it tilts the, the development of the consumption footprint upwards. And then the, the fact that we're becoming more efficient in our production uh, holds it down. And that's why you see more or less a stability in the consumption footprint. So this goal clearly demonstrates Sweden's recognition of the fact that the way we live and consume in Sweden risk having a negative impact on other countries where goods are being produced to satisfy Swedish demands. There's a guiding principle in the Climate Act saying that uh, Danish measures uh, should not simply relocate all the greenhouse gas emissions to outside Denmark's borders. We have decreased our domestic emissions by 33% since 1995. But at the same time, we have increased our imported emissions by 32% from 1995. We need to understand how and what we consume and where the environmental and sustainability impacts of our consumptions are the strongest, but also where the value is created along the relevant value chains so that eventually we can address our consumption-based emissions in the right policy framework and in a just manner for exporting countries. The, the parliament actually supported introducing uh, binding targets, then the final legislation after negotiation with member states says such targets should be introduced as appropriate. But, but to me, it's obvious that it is very much appropriate right now.